Welcome to my zero subscriber special. All this fancy ass bullshit that I see on YouTube, I don't have time for that. I work full time and I don't get paid enough to eat out every day. And when I do eat out, they always give me a piss poor serving size of shit food packed with cheap calories. And that's when I thought, I could do this. I could cook bigger, better and cheaper than these restaurants. So here's my channel. I cook things that are fast, easy, cheap, big, bold and healthier than what you can find outside. My name is Chi and I'm a bad chef. All these food channels on YouTube, they always seem to have somebody who knows what they're doing at the hell, which is fine. But Gordon Ramsay saying that something is easy is kind of like Usain Bolt saying that running isn't very hard. What I'm here for then is to provide relativity as a normal guy living in the real world. Uh, for those who study or work full time and still want to home cook something a bit better. Imagine the 100 meter sprint at the Olympics, only in the very far lane, there's this completely bog standard average guy running like a 25 second 100 meter sprint. That's me. I'm here to provide perspective on what normal is supposed to be. So if you're a uni student or an early professional with no real time or money, but you still want to get your dopamine hit from low effort, high reward food, you've come to the right place. Let's go, let's cook something, let's do it, let's go. Let's say you got home from work, you're a little bit tired, but you want to cook something within about 10 minutes. What we're going to do today is an exo barramundi fillet with an accompanying Chinese cucumber salad. It's only going to take minutes, super quick, easy, nutritious, high protein, low carb. Let's get it. Now, before we begin, I want to introduce you to your new best friend. This, this is exo sauce. And what this is, is like a Cantonese seafood relish that's been cooked down with ham, chilies, garlic, onions, until it's this thick, beautiful, rich paste. It's packed with fucking umami and it adds instant flavor to anything that you put it with, be it toast, chicken, fish, beef, vegetables, um, lawn clippings, paper. Um. Think of it like a bacon jam. You can buy this in any good Asian mart and it runs anywhere from between $4 to $12 for a jar of roughly 25 servings. There's many different types, but this one's my favorite. All right, let's get cracking. The fish. Heat up some oil in a pan to medium high heat. Generously season the fish with salt and pepper, then lay the fish away from you into the pan, skin side down. If the fish has come straight out of the refrigerator, the core might still be a bit cold. So turn down the heat to a little over medium, then cover with a lid. Fry for about two, two and a half minutes. Turn it over, fry for another two, two and a half minutes, then sear the sides. At the end, chop up some garlic and chili, drop it into the pan, turn off the heat and wait for the garlic to get crispy. Plate the fish and garnish with a garlic and chili crisp, a dollop of exo sauce, and maybe whatever decorative bullshit that you might have lying about. And that's a fish, done. As for the cucumber salad, you can do this while the fish is cooking. First, slice some cucumber. Here's a tip. You wanna slice things really thin, use a veg peeler. A veg peeler is a great way of cutting thin ribbons of whatever you're cutting. So you can just curl it up, put it into a bowl, and make it look goddamn fancy. As for the sauce, it's literally six ingredients. Sugar, sesame oil, soy sauce, chin kiang vinegar, one fresh chili and a clove of garlic. In terms of amounts, um, I don't really measure too much to be honest. Uh, I just kind of eyeball it until the ghosts of my ancestors say, yeah, fuck it, that's basically about right. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just going to add like a slosh of vinegar, a dash of soy sauce, a lick of sesame oil, and that's pretty much about it. All you have to do now is to pour on the vinegar, the soy sauce, the sesame oil and the sugar, then top it with the chili and crushed garlic and some sesame seeds if you have them. If you want the specific amounts for measurement's sake, I'll include them in the description. And it's done. That's literally all there is to it. 10 minutes in and out of the kitchen, high protein, low carb, bullshit. Yes, yes. Oh my God. Mm. The skin of the fish is crispy, but the inside is sweet, steamy, and tender. 
and the aromatics with the XO. And that doesn't want to make you slap your mum because she never cooked you this. I'm sure she'll understand. The salad, it's like this perfect blend of sweet, sour, and spicy. But the cucumber just soothes you a little bit as it goes down. So it's, it's kind of a bit SM, but with the right amount of aftercare. Paired together, it's like a 10 minute porn film for your taste buds. Quick enough to get an easy storyline going, but direct enough to get the job done. Because Lord knows you have other things to do, like crying or masturbating or both at the same time. Mm. And there you have it. Exo Baramundi fillet with Chinese cucumber salad. Done.